Who were the major players in the Battle of the Coral Sea during World War II? The Battle of the Coral Sea, which took place from May 4 to May 8, 1942, was a significant naval battle between the United States and Japan during World War II. The battle was fought primarily by aircraft carriers and marked the first time in history that two opposing carrier forces engaged each other without the ships ever coming within sight of one another. Here is a detailed account of the major players and events during the Battle of the Coral Sea. 1. United States Admiral Frank J. Fletcher, commander of the U.S. Task Force 17, consisting of the aircraft carrier USS Yorktown, CV-5, and supporting vessels. Admiral Aubrey W. A. Fitch, commander of the U.S. Task Force 11, which included the aircraft carrier USS Lexington, CV-2, and accompanying ships. Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, responsible for overall strategy and coordination. 2. Japan Vice Admiral Shigyoshi Inoue, Commander of the Japanese Fourth Fleet, responsible for planning and executing the operation. Vice Admiral Takeo Takagi, Commander of the Japanese Carrier Striking Force, which included the carriers Shokaku and Zuikaku. Vice Admiral Chuchi Nagumo, commander of the Japanese carrier striking force during the attack on Pearl Harbor, but was not present during the Battle of the Coral Sea. Major events during the battle Japanese invasion of Port Moresby The Battle of the Coral Sea was a result of Japan's attempt to capture Port Moresby in Papua New Guinea, which would have provided an important strategic foothold in the South Pacific. Reconnaissance and Carrier Positioning U. Codebreakers intercepted Japanese communications and determined that the enemy was planning an attack on Port Moresby. The U. Deployed the Yorktown and Lexington to intercept the Japanese force. Carrier air strikes, on May 7, U. Carrier aircraft attacked the Japanese carriers, damaging the Shokaku. In response, Japanese planes targeted the U. Carriers, severely damaging the Lexington. The Yorktown was also hit but remained operational. Sinking of the Lexington, on May 8, the Lexington was hit by multiple torpedo and bomb strikes. Despite efforts to save the ship, it had to be scuttled to prevent it from falling into enemy hands. Japanese withdrawal, the Battle of the Coral Sea marked a strategic victory for the Allies as they were able to halt the Japanese advance towards Port Moresby. The Japanese, having sustained significant losses, decided to withdraw their forces. While the battle was considered a tactical draw, the U. Successfully protected Port Moresby, denying the Japanese a crucial objective. More importantly, the Battle of the Coral Sea was a turning point in the Pacific War as it was the first time that a Japanese invasion force had been stopped by Allied forces. Additionally, the battle demonstrated the importance of carrier-based aircraft in naval warfare and set the stage for future carrier battles in the Pacific. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.